Hi everyone, this is Sahan from Details Pro. In this video, I'm going to make a really quick tips and tricks for how to make your designs look more apple -y. And what do I mean by apple-y? I mean designs that are beautiful, that are clear, that look at home on Apple devices, and you know they look like everything else that looks really great on the platform. So I just want to show you some really actionable tips and tricks for how to take a design that maybe doesn't look very apple-y and make it look more apple-y. So here's what I've got. So far we have this cell and you can see it's in a horizontal scroll. So imagine pretty soon, you know, when we're done, we're going to want to have a few of them in a row and, you know, want them to look different, but look really nice together. So to get started with this, first thing, here's the first tip. There is a pattern in Apple design that is having an image and then having two lines of text, maybe three lines of text under that image. So that's what I've set up so far. We have an image and then text and then text. And the first tip is a lot of times these designs will be aligned, not on the center, but on the leading edge. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna tap on the vertical stack, align it to the leading edge. And leading, by the way, just means the front based on the language. So in English, that's a left to right language. Leading is the left. In Arabic, for example, that's a right to left language leading would be on the right. So now that we have the alignment correct, we're going to make this look a little bit more apple -y. We got to do some font work. So in this design pattern, what happens often is you have what's called a headline and a subheadline. So you normally want the headline to really pop out and then you want the subheadline to kind of take a back seat. Right now, our two lines of text, they kind of look the same. So Let's start off with our headline, which normally is, is the, you know, the one on top. And I'm going to go ahead and add a font to this. And maybe let's do, uh, let's try like title two. And then let's make it a little bit thicker, right? Right now, we, it doesn't really have that bold look that a lot of Apple design has today. So I'm going to change the weight to semi-bold. Let's see, bold actually looks pretty good. It's, it's a little thick, but I think it looks just right. So now we've got that headline popping out. The next thing we need to do is that subheadline right now is not really taking a back seat. So what I mean by that, we're just gonna make it a little bit quieter. And to do that, we're gonna do two things. First, we're gonna change the font, which we are familiar with. I think body is okay. Maybe we'll come down to subheadline. That feels pretty good. And then the other step that's really going to bring this home is just giving it that secondary color. So I'm going to go to color and then secondary. So now you can see we've, we went from, let me show you what we started with. We started with this, right? Not a lot of difference, not a lot of emphasis. And then we got to this, which looks great. Um, so here's the next tip in this pattern with the image and the text and the, you know, the headline, the sub headline, Often the images are rounded. Right now this image is not rounded. It's got some real sharp corners. So let's go ahead and give it that rounded look. To do that in Details Pro, I'm gonna tap on the image and then we just have to add a mask. So we're gonna mask. And in Details Pro, the default mask is actually a rounded rectangle. So you can see we already have a rounded rectangle. We can change the radius of that rectangle. Maybe we go up to 20. How does 20 look? That's, that's kind of a lot. Maybe we'll come back down to 10. Okay, that looks great. Um, now, really, we're, we're kind of there, I think. This looks great. We've got the rounded image, we've got the headline and the subheadline. It's clear to read. Um, one thing I might do, we could you know experiment, maybe go back down to title three. We could go down to semi-bold. Honestly, kind of like how that looks too. Maybe we'll leave it like that. Um, and we can do some other stuff that's fun. For example, we could go onto the uh, image, maybe give it a shadow. So I'm gonna go, you know, add modifier, shadow. And that looks pretty good. It's a little bit of a heavy shadow. It's, it's you know, it's a lot, it's standing out a lot more than I want it to. So I'm gonna bring the opacity down to 25. That's a lot better. Um, and yeah, so there we go. So now let me go ahead and make a few of these and I'm going to rename this. Let's call it our cell. Let me go duplicate and we duplicate again. You can see it's looking, looking pretty cool. Maybe we want a little bit more spacing. So I'm going to go on the horizontal stack, 
increase that to say 20. That looks pretty nice. And then now we can just go ahead and customize it. So we can change this picture to another one, change this next, next picture to another one, and change our text, pink flower, blue sky, change you know, the other values in our design. And just like that, we took something that didn't look very appley and made it look pretty appley. So let me know what you thought of this video. Let me know what you'd like to see. I really want to help all of you make designs that look as appley as possible because I just think that looks really nice. Thanks for watching this video and thanks for designing with Details Pro. This has been Sahand. I will talk to you soon.